Welcome to Stronger Than Soldiers, a beholder's eye, side eye adventure. Once again, we follow the Canaries, a guild of mercenaries called in to explore the darkest, most dangerous caves, caverns, and crevices in the Great Isle. I'm Kim, your DM. Let's find out what our Canaries are up to today. So, who, uh, do we want to do a recap? Yeah, let's. What happened last time, boys? Uh, a roper almost killed us. Well, not almost killed us, actually. We did rather well. And we got into a room, well. which we don't know what to do. That's kind of what happened last time, right? We didn't... <laughs> Basically. Well, it was Between that, it was just filled with blind jokes and ho- whole jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lots of blind jokes, <laughs> lots of whole jokes. Very good. Uh, yep. All right. So you, to remind you all, are in a room that's 10 feet by 15 feet. It's a nice rectangular room. And you have a door behind you to the north that nobody's tried to open. You have a door to the west that is locked in some way that's not not lock pickable, but you don't know how. And in the middle of the room, there are seven chains hanging in a row from east to west and uh there's a hole in the north wall and the east wall and there's torches wait so there is a second door well the one you came one. in uh, oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> i'm just saying no one's tried to escape yet ah uh, okay mm-hmm. okay i like how she uses the term escape as in we're in danger currently and um, yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, i'm gonna go to a different chain and cast light on it <laughs> Oh yeah, and the middle one, so the fourth one in is lit up currently. So which one did you want to light? The sixth and the second. Okay, <laughs> you light the chains. <sighs> lit for an hour Doesn't now. do anything. We've got light. Might as well light them all. <sighs> Good idea. I light all of them. <laughs> it's now gonna... nice and bright in the room. Can I investigate the chain? Um, take a take a closer look at it. Sure. Uh, yeah. Um, me and my bird will we'll walk up there and uh, we'll, we'll take a nice close look at it. Go ahead and give me investigation. Okay. That is with the bird because I'm a blindman. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 13. With a 13, you are able to see that it is made of normal chain metal, so some kind of iron or steel and you look up and there's a hole in the ceiling where it comes down through and the hole looks to be made of some kind of metal pipe maybe you're not quite sure maybe it's just around the edge of the hole but beyond that there's you can't see anything special oh Oh. and it's lit up now thanks to uh full (laughs) spoilin and and that would make the whole length of it lit up correct Uh, oh or is it only five feet it uh, it does a distance on length i think it's let me just check how much it is. Well, it uh, says the touch- object sheds bright light. Yeah. You touch an object that is no longer than 10 feet in any dimension until the end spell ends. The object sheds light. They only hang down four feet. So you look up into the hole and it th- there's looks like there's maybe some gears up there. Uh, but that's about it. There's nothing special. Um, so there are, uh, there are gears up in the ceiling. I think we need so, to pull on one of these chains. So is this just one hole that has all the chains coming down from it or no. each individual? There's seven different holes. The chains are approximately, see, it's 10 feet apart. So the chains are maybe eight to 10 inches from each other. Okay. So so I I have an idea. Um, you guys tell me if it's a bad one or not. Um, I I was looking at the floor. It looks like that the floor. There's something weird going on with this, right? Like some of the floor might fall away. If all of us, we each get a chain. We can try pulling on them. If the floor falls away, hopefully we can hold on. If we grab two chains each, there's only one we're missing out then. So more chance of success. Ah, I knew a man named Two Chains once. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so which well, ones are you grabbing on to? I will grab three and four. Okay. I'll, I'll grab any random two. It doesn't matter as long as they're within <laughs> arm's reach of each other. One and seven. <laughs> so you can <laughs> go on either side of Bull and <laughs> give him a nice hug. hug. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll do one and two then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, Dragon pulling one and two, and Volin pulling three and four. So I'll do Owen, five and six. Yeah, five and six. Actually, six, seven. Let's let's switch this up a little bit. Okay. Just doesn't like being near us. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alrighty, so you all pull your chains in simultaneously. <laughs> um, it's gonna be let's real bad. Let's start with okay. So from the one inch hole behind you, you hear a hissing noise, and uh, if anybody happens to look that direction, you see kind of a fog starting to come out. Uh, <laughs> there's also a mechanical noise from the west door, and. Uh, the bar that you don't know exists on the other side of the door is gone away. Um, the fifth one is not pulled. The fourth one, you hear the mechanics to the door lock in the door to the west unlock themselves. But I need you all to roll a dex save. <laughs> okay. Because number three makes some spikes come out of the floor. That's a nine. That's a four. <laughs> I rolled well for once. Screw everyone else. <laughs> uh, guys, I uh, I heard some stuff going on with the locked door. Oh. Okay, so... And then spikes impale him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so both Dragon and Owen take three points of uh, piercing damage from the spikes. Not too bad. So they just came up from the floor, not like... Yes. Okay. So they're, they're like at weird angles up from the floor. Okay. And Volin was able to like, I don't know, pull the chains and get himself up off the floor. Spin himself up like <laughs> yeah. a gymnast. <laughs> you did some kind of cool thing. And then one and two uh, did nothing, so... Okay. Uh, and Owen's going to kind of move away from those spikes, you know, unimpale himself a little bit. Um, mm. And uh, he's going to make his way over to the door because he heard stuff going on with the door. He thinks it's unlocked. So, okay. Yeah, he's going to try the door. I'll move over there with him, but keep an eye on the fog that's coming in. Good. Yeah. Oh. I'd, I'd rather get out of here before yeah. uh, we have has breathing it, has situations. It, the door has opens has, with okay. no trouble. Has it, has it, has it, has the, did the fog start to fill the room? It will. Um uh, within a little uh, while, 18 seconds. Yeah, you let's go. Uh, have to roll some gust of wind it back into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I get that as a ratio. <laughs> uh, it doesn't behave like that. It's still in the room, so you may gust the wind away from yourself. It's, it's being pushed out. Yeah. I make, I make a shell around us. Then. It lasts up to <gasps> one minute, so I just make. You can just open the door and walk through, guys. Seriously. Oh, I, th that was We're my doing plan. that too. <laughs> <laughs> Why not the do it on? I'm just it's protecting open. us in case the next thing that goes wrong. <sighs> the brute force, force uh, the brute force me method to, to solving a puzzle. It oh, there's a bunch of levers. Let's just pull all pull of them. everything. <laughs> this will either go really well or effective. really badly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we get in the door and shut it. Yes. Okay. So you are safe from the gas that was coming in. Alrighty. There you still go. just blowing wind everywhere until someone tells me to stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> no one gonna tell him to stop? <laughs> okay. No. Nope. You are now. One minute in of a... wind. <laughs> I'm a leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you are now in a very windy and dark hallway with a. Well, oh, we've got the staff okay. still. Owen and Dragon. Uh, uh, Owen can sense that there are stairs going down, and Dragon, you can see them. So cool. it's just a stone stairway spiraling down. Ah, all right, downwards we go, I guess. I'm, Indeed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop no. the gas. Oh, I'm drop wait. <laughs> Does the light you cast on Owen's um, quarterstaff still go? It lasts an hour. Yeah, you cleared that in probably, say, 30 minutes between fighting well, the roper and figuring out the chains. I, I'm still dropping the wind, the gust of wind spell, touching one of the bricks <laughs> and casting light. Okay, <laughs> very good. I'll, I'll do that every six seconds. <laughs> And and Owen Excellent. will send the uh, will will send his raven down the stairs um, okay. out to out to a, out a hundred feet and then back. Okay. Is that wise? A hundred feet is still stairs. There's lots of stairs. They 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 go down a ways. I'm leaving breadcrumbs for us to get home. Okay. All I guess right. Start making um, way down. Light crumbs. Yep. Like, <laughs> and I'll. Okay. Every chance um, we get, I'll cast guidance on myself, and then I'll take the lead. So, so it lasts okay. for a minute, and then I can just um, I'll just keep recasting it. Ah, uh, for the ability checks. Yep. Okay. 
Cool. Okay, so you walk down the stairs and they go on and on and it seems like they're never going to end. But finally you get to the bottom and it is a dark passageway. So, Dragon, uh, go ahead and roll uh, Perception. 23. Holy crap. All right. So you think maybe something's up with the floor. You don't know what. If you would like to investigate to figure it out okay. or to ask somebody else to help you, you sure can. Yep. There is something peculiar about this floor. Hmm. And Owen's going to get his staff. He's going to kind of bang on the floor a bit. Does he feel anything? Investigate. Okay. <laughs> 17? Yeah, it feels hollow. Uh ah, there's there's nothing under the floor here. It feels uh it feels hollow. Like it's uh nice and tin. And with that 23 for perception, I'm going to say you see some of the differently uh differently colored, we'll say, floor tiles. Uh, Is it like a pattern or Yeah. So, it's like a different color brick. Like it's stone, but there's like brick inlays here and there. It looks like it's decorative, but you're not sure. It's in a nice diagonal I, pattern. I I I think this is exactly what I was uh made for, lads. Um, I I don't need to be able to see to be able to move through here. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna just you know yeah for some reason he's just gonna go and he's gonna be feeling his way up with his uh with his quarter staff kind of banging on the mm -hmm. ground uh feeling if uh avoiding anything that feels hollow. Mm -hmm. Um yeah making his way. Okay, so Our I'm going to say footprint. because of your tremor sense you can feel where the the latches are and you are able to avoid those particular bricks. Cool. Nice. <laughs> you, you, you see, uh, you see, the feeling gets a lot more sensitive when you can't see anymore. It's I've not always had my friend here. <laughs> I'm just uh, thinking because like we're just watching him tapping his stick and we're like just walking. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. He, uh, he's making it through. You're just back by the stairs, I uh, guess. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the floor. Oh, fo oh, yeah, yeah. Fo follow me. Uh, there's uh, trap doors in the floor. Uh, just step ah. where I step and you'll be okay. I, do, I don't explain things much. I just kind of do. <laughs> well, Helpful. thank you for that. And then I will follow in his footsteps. So. <laughs> I'm going to have both of you roll um, Dex. Would that be it? To make sure you can follow his footsteps? Sure. Okay. We'll set this at 15. Oh. 15. You have no trouble. You make it nice. down this hallway and everything is peachy keen. Okay, so I'm just dancing you're, across the hallway, the natural twist. <laughs> yeah, you're you're so light on your feet, the floor doesn't even feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning around, lighting up bricks to go along. Excellent. Okay, so you go to the end of the tunnel, and it turns to the left, and uh, immediately in front of you, there is a large round room. There's six doorways. There's uh, on the wall, you can see sconces where there's there's lit torches. Uh, in the middle of the room, there's kind of like a pool of water uh, that leads up to a place where there's water coming out of the wall. And you see this really complicated set of tubes that lead off and go into different sections in the wall. You're not really sure what that's about. But anyway, the water comes down, kind of fills a pool in the middle of the, of the floor. And there are six different doorways around the room. In between each, there is a suit of armor. So it kind of looks like whoever here is here really likes different kinds and styles of armor. Some of them look older uh, and some of them look more modern. So that's cool. Uh, I uh, yeah. I don't like the look of this uh, room, lads. Should we, should we just go back and say it's not worth it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I th did they tell Did they tell us what we we're looking for? Uh, no, the, we're, we're, we're just to here to make sure out. it's safe. Yeah. I, I think we've got a conclusive answer to that already. Uh, no, <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, a creature safe that for the people your, in this village. There's a creature that killed all your people coming in here originally. A room that stabbed one of us. Two of us. Two. And a potentially dangerous room that we've just gone through. Just see it off, lads. It's not worth it. <laughs> Don't you have any sense of adventure, man? I come from the deep blue sea and I'm in a mountain <laughs> deep in land. <laughs> So, no? <laughs> no, no adventure at all. I mean, this is just a Sunday walk for me. 
<laughs> then let's venture forth. Yes, let's venture forth. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm going to start walking into the room uh, towards the pool. That's what I want to okay. check out first. Go oh. ahead and roll. Uh, you want to investigate, I assume? Yeah, the, the bird will investigate it for sure. Okay. Um, so uh, that would be a one. It's water. It looks uh, real nice. You could probably yeah. go take a drink if it wants to. I, no. Uh, <laughs> the bird will not take a drink uh, I, since it's I not I mean, real. with a one. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't. It's not wisdom save. It's uh, just uh, looking are the, save. Are there any fish in the water? <laughs> Uh, the bird the does not see anything beyond not. the top of the water. It sees its reflection and just keeps looking at himself. Basically, yeah. <laughs> kind of pecks at the water. Yeah, I, I'm going to walk over to the water. Okay. Anything happened on my walk over? No. Oh, uh, uh you, you're, you're, uh, you're a la rather large fish man, aren't you? Without well, you saying should be anything, good I'm dipping my head into the water, fully, fully face under. <laughs> um. Nothing happens to you. It's really nice, fresh, kind of cold, actually, this water. Can I, can I see anything in there? I mean, I'm a there, figure, so I can breathe at the and bottom, see underwater. Yeah, at the bottom of the pool, it looks like there's some kind of draining mechanism. Uh, and it's just, like, even though the water is constantly flowing in, that's being equaled by the amount draining out of the pool. So it's never going to overflow. Okay. Take my head out to say it's a pool of water, there's a drain, but it okay. just has like an endless flow back on itself. I see. Um, and how, about how big are those like pipe things you were describing? Yeah, so the the pipe looking tube things, uh, they're, I don't know, three, two, three inches around. And they, there's like a funnel um, by the water and it looks like it can be moved. Like there's a, a, what do you call it? A hinge on the pipe itself so that the funnel can be moved under the water or it could be moved out. And currently both of them are moved way so that none of the water is going into the funnels hmm okay uh, i think this is another puzzle um. there are six doorways one of them is open with some stairs going down another one is got a barricaded door like a big old it's a giant chunk of wood fitted into some brackets on either side uh there's another one that's another open frame just going down the fourth uh is a metal door that it looks like a normal door and the fifth is another door and the sixth is a uh, open staircase going down. Can we see down all of them? So even the ones with the metal door? Is there like a grate or something we can see through? Um, no. The metal door is completely closed off. All the doors are unviewable through them. Okay. Uh, is there any rubble on the floor at all? No. It looks like actually quite tidy. Or anything. Oh, okay. That's a shame. Uh, I will, uh, Owen will go over to one of the open doors. Um, he'll send okay. the bird in a hundred feet. Wh which one? Uh, There's six of them. Pick one. So um, the one, uh, the stairs go down about 50 feet. Um, what does he see? Let me figure it out. Um, there is a door at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, there's a, a door at the bottom of the stairs that leads down, um, and it's closed. Yes. Closed door, and you can't see through it or anything? Nope. Okay, the bird's gonna fly back. He's gonna go to uh, a different uh, open door and send it in a hundred feet. I don't mind which door it is, just a different one. Okay, so the... Uh, two, 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 two. The the third door, so there's the barricaded one in between. The third door going down, the bird flies down about, I don't know, 15 feet. And there at the bottom is what looks like a kitchen area. There's counters, there's like a, a bowl on one of the places. And you see uh, one of the pipes. I assume you can see everything that you would normally on a perception check, right? Yeah, the bird can see properly. Okay. Yeah. So one of the pipes comes into this room and points down into that bowl and you can see something else underneath that bowl going down into the floor and then in the middle there's like a island area and there's a giant fireplace hearth kind of thing and there's another door toward the back uh it, it looks like there's a kitchen in here uh, no fridge, so it's a little bit off. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Um, 
Okay, and, and he's going to systematically go through the rest of the open doors in that same manner, scoping okay. them There's all There's only off. one other open door, Perfect. and at the bottom is another closed door. Okay, so there's two of these open doors. They they both uh, go down the stairs. There's closed doors at the end of them, and one ends in a kitchen. So What's in the kitchen? I, I He can't go any further and me still be able to see. And he can't open things, so I would have to go down there. Like he can then just let's do it. Okay, let's do it. And I'll go. I'll okay. go first. So with shield up. Okay. And still casting guidance on myself. All right. So you go into the kitchen area, and it is as I described before. There are clearly counter areas. There's various cooking pots and things hanging about. There's a nice block of knives sitting there. Um, if you want to look through the cupboards or go in the door, let me know. There's no fire currently. Okay, so there is a door in this room. Mm -hmm. I missed that. There's another door okay. at the far end of the kitchen. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I want to check out the cupboards. What okay. are these pipes for, you think? Uh, I, I'm thinking it might be for Wasser. Maybe Possibly? there's stuff upstairs. So. Yeah. It seems a complicated way to get water to the kitchen. Ah, uh, well, it seems better than buckets. Seems yes, but you'd have to control it from the outside, possibly. Is there any sort of mechanism that would let the water into the bowl that I can see? Um, the pipe is open on the bottom, but there is a chain hanging next to the pipe. I pull the chain. Water flows out of the pipe into the bowl. Cool. I let it go. <laughs> water stops flowing. <laughs> I go over and plug one. <laughs> <laughs> Just like one, two, then stop. Then one, two, then stop. Then one, two, then stop. Then one, two. Then stop. Okay, so you are entranced by flowing water. Excellent. Uh, Put my head under a pool chain. <laughs> it's refreshing to be underwater. <laughs> All right, Indeed. shall we check this door then? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna uh, check these cupboards yeah. real quick. I uh, I could use a use a bite. Um, yeah, he's gonna check the cupboards <laughs> before he goes to the door. You find a nice loaf of bread and uh, plates and cups and things, and there is a couple of jars of things. They look edible. You don't know uh, what they are. The, the jars and the bread straight in his backpack. Um, okay. Plates and cups. Uh, he's just kind of nonchalantly taking them out. Not edible. Dropping it on the floor. <laughs> so. <laughs> I want to grab a, like, three plates before you break them. <laughs> uh, yeah, he has like no... discus. E <laughs> uh, I don't know what a discus is. <laughs> It's a circular shape you throw, like like this, and he's gonna throw the plate across the room. Exactly, <laughs> but that one wasn't ha that one wasn't casting light. Ah. the plate. I, I I see. Well, I I seem to have gotten all the edibles, so uh, <laughs> uh, onwards, I guess. The edibles right. were last side eye, so <laughs> <laughs> they were indeed. <laughs> Okay, right. so somebody so open the door. I'm gonna trap check it. Okay, there's no trap. 22. Okay. You're good. It's not locked. <laughs> no traps. All right. I'm gonna kick it. <laughs> okay, kick it. Come on, above a one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. With the one. With the one. It oh really, God. really hurts. A one, a crit, worst. and a one. And you fall down, by the way. From the floor, I'm gonna thunder wave the door. <laughs> Is that oh a cantrip God. for you? No, no, just, that's I a spell slot. <laughs> okay. I'm Am I within it, 15 feet of him? I'm gonna I would jump out of the way. So. <laughs> no one's on the other side of the door. I'm right against the door, Sam. He is. He's laying there. Okay, so <laughs> with the thunder wave, you, uh, we'll say you blow it off its hinges, and uh, you see the nicely stacked rows of jars that are now in pieces on the floor because you blew them all off the shelves. Ah, oh, what the it's heck did you do that for? Those look like perfectly good jam in there. <laughs> The door oh, yeah. resisted All my foot, things. so I'm pretty sure it was a mimic. <laughs> but, <laughs> Not a very strong one by the looks of it. But, but that was perfectly good food. That would have kept for ages. They jarred it and everything. <laughs> I'm going to pick up some pieces of jar. And <laughs> <just hand it. laughs> Does it look like any of the contents are salvageable out of the jars? Um... Oh, like Probably a pickle, like, like a pick out of broken glass, or, you know. Nah. Uh. 
He's gonna look really, <sighs> really dejected, kind of hang his head a little bit. You know, there just... are, however, seven jars that were close enough to the closer end of the shelves that just got pushed back to the end of the shelves. So there are seven jars of food. Oh yeah, the, all seven over. in the in the backpack. <laughs> Excellent. All right, oh, this and is that's great. What's in the kitchen? Oh. All right. <laughs> nice. Shall we go back up? Ah, <gasps> sure. It seems kind of okay. nice in here, though. Nothing tried to kill me yet. I got some nice jam out of it. <laughs> um, you know, and he's gonna he's gonna follow follow you back up. Um, one right. jar in his hands, and he's just gonna be taking it out with his bare hands and kind of shoving it into his mouth. I don't care what it is. It could be jam, whatever. Um, Brain, testing, um, this this lung. This is good. This is good. Um, yeah, if it's poisonous or whatever, it's poisonous. I don't. Know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, is it roll chutney? for deliciousness, um, I guess. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's roll a 1d100. 1d100 for your deliciousness. Okay. 68. <laughs> it's pretty good. You. <sighs> It tastes like applesauce, maybe? You're not mm. quite sure. Ah, applesauce. Ah, apple it's pretty sauce. decent. Not the best could, you've ever had. I could really use some pork to go with this. This would be, uh... <laughs> mm. yeah. Okay, so you go back up the stairs to the the central chamber with the pool of water. When we so, get to the top, I'm going to touch the door frame that we came through and cast light on it, just so it marks where we've been. Okay, cool. Nice. nice. Good. So that was so, the third door. So you have one, yeah. two, and then four, five, six. Shall we do the first one? Might as well. Off okay. You. All right. Guidance. Go down. Okay. Check There's a door at the, the door. There are no traps. Well, that's good because I rolled a nine. Yeah. So. Well. <laughs> and open it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So you go in and it looks like a laboratory. There's racks of equipment. There's some bookshelves that have various tomes and potions you're not quite sure there's different shaped jars and glass vials and containers and um that's about it ah this no other must doors. be where they jar the jam no yeah no other doors just this room Mm. Any suspicious yep. looking flasks with like red liquid inside? I mean, if you want to check them all out, there yeah. are uh, about a hundred different bottles sitting on the shelf. Investigation or perception? <laughs> um, I, I much can I use your medicine bard. to do this? You're not yeah. really gonna know. Can I use Are medicine you, to investigate? You sure it, it, could. See if any of them are healing. Yeah. It, it doesn't necessarily need to be a healing. I'm just looking for suspicious looking fluids in flasks. Oh, there's plenty of suspicious looking fluid in flasks. I pick up the grossest looking one I can find and offer it to... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, to God. Owen? Owen, that's it. Yeah. Okay. I think um, I found some jam for you. Uh, Don't touch that, Owen. <laughs> oh, okay. And I, He's trying to keep it for himself. I got a 23 on medicine. <laughs> Okay, um, you can see a couple of them that look like healing potions. Okay, um, I'll just... One of them does look a little off, but the rest of them look like normal healing potions. There's three of those. Okay, I will... Three three normal looking ones? Mm-hmm, and okay. a fourth one that's... It, it's a healing potion, as far as you can tell, but... But just different. The color's slightly different than what you're used to. Okay. Uh, I'll pocket those, okay. even though the suspicious one. Okay. And yeah, I'll, I'll kind of wrap that fourth one up a little uh, nicer. Okay. So cool. if it gets broken, it doesn't spread everywhere. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, anybody else want to investigate for things? Uh, the, the vial that was handed to Owen, I'd like to check that out uh, if I can, <laughs> uh, even if I'm not very good at it. Uh, what um, would you like me to use for that? Uh... Let's see. You're I'm, a druid. I'm good at medicine. Okay. But um, I can even arcana check it if you'd like me to. Let's do arcana because okay. that's probably more what this is going to be. That's a crit fail. So three. <laughs> you think it's going to make you fly. Ah, a flying potion. Ah, this is, this is fantastic. Um, I might want that. I'm going to, I'm going to drink it. If it's a flying okay. potion, he's going to drink it. Uh you are in front of the eyes of the others. You are slowly becoming invisible. Ooh. <laughs> You're not flying. Ah, this, oh, this that, works. That completely backfired. 
<laughs> and you will stay invisible until you take damage or get hit. Nice. I'm gonna grab. A, I'm gonna grab a suspicious looking falling down. It. <laughs> okay. I'll let you roll a one d hundred this time. Your yeah, eyes can't go wrong for me. I've rolled so well so tonight. Like. <laughs> 44 that's that's potentially not terrible <laughs> all right um mm, go ahead and roll arcana to see if you can tell what this is uh arcana that's that's a minus one that's <laughs> seven um this is why i love can... side eye <laughs> Like whatever. She's so much, so, so much more reckless with my character. It's very true. <laughs> like you're not reckless with him and I. Let well, me just thunder away with this demon lord. We. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was in character. He knew it was bad. Okay. Um, you can't quite tell what it does. Maybe it would help you. Maybe it would hurt you. Maybe not. You have no idea. I'm trying to do an intelligence roll just to see what I think character okay. would say if my character sheet would open properly. That would be help. Uh, intelligence. One. <laughs> so I, I should turn to the groom and say I'm pretty sure that made me immortal. Stab me. <laughs> you drank it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I did say I just downed it, sorry. I don't know how that. Uh okay, so <laughs> Roll I do want to point out, he rolled a, a non-natural one, so yes. he has a negative one on his intelligence. <laughs> so go ahead and roll a 1d6 twice. The first uh, one, we're going to go down the ability list. Um, it's totally going to be an ad, right? Yeah. So one of them will... Let me look at your... Okay, so strength is increased by six. And, oh, wow. Or wait. I'm trying to strength base weapon now. That was, that was a one, wasn't it? Yeah. There's so, a four yes. and one. The first one. Okay. So the strength was increased by six, and four would be intelligence is decreased by six. <laughs> I'm on three intelligence. I can't actually speak anymore. <laughs> 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 minus four to intelligence. I don't, as I'm saying, I think that became maybe a more token. <laughs> and roll a 1d4 to see how long that lasts. Oh, this is brilliant. Come on, four. Yes! <laughs> four hours. You are strong as all get out, but dumb as a bell. On a, on a deck space character. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my Anybody else? Coming to, my charisma's coming to, uh, coming to play so well now. Uh, can uh, uh, Owen, his invisible self, is going to walk up to his friend. Um, and can I can I like medicine check him? Sure. See what's going on with him. Um, okay. <laughs> Twenty. Not natural. You can tell he took a potion of uh, equilibrium. And that the score changes. What? It didn't quite make me equal. <laughs> one, me so it takes one random ability score and increases it by six, and the other and decreases, decreases by six. By six. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And you can tell it's going to be around for a little while. You're not quite sure how long. Well, well, this one's no good to us anymore, Dragon. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna backhand you for that one. Um, are you? I still understand you. I just can't. Speak. Are you smart enough to understand my slight of you? I'm trying to find intelligence in the player's handbook at the minute to see what exactly. Roll for intelligence. Yeah. Oh, see if um, you can understand him. Nope. He's just that would be even babbling. less. With him. Or is it just well, minus that's four? Right? Negative He's four. already put the. He okay. changed it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Minus four intelligence. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, I mean, there's like permanent changes to my sheet. I don't think this, this, our adventures are last longer than four <laughs> characters at the minute. Right. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, Dragon, um, <laughs> I, I will have to uh, take your lead from here because uh, oh, I can't um, tell where I'm going. Uh, my friends can't see me anymore, so I am actually <laughs> blind. Um, <laughs> um, Kim, do I still have my spellcasting ability? Nope, you sure right. don't. Okay. <laughs> Even though it's less... based off of charisma? That's what I was trying to check with my intelligence. Ah, but you're not intelligent enough to understand words. So I guess if it doesn't have a verbal component, because you can't talk. Uh, it's, oh, it's verbal and somatic. Yeah, no. I can make the, I can make the right clicks though, right? 
I, I, I will try <laughs> lesser you could just restoration. Rest for four hours. So on I him. took lesser restoration in case this happened. Yeah, I'm gonna try <laughs> lesser restoration on him. Okay. See if that does something. I don't know if it will, but we will see. So while I love this, <laughs> it does kind of destroy this character. I, I, I know. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty limited in what it does, but I would try it anyway. That's what he would do. Um, a condition. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say it decreases the time to one hour, but it's That's not still too bad. not completely gone. Oh, so, oh. okay, uh, big lad, uh, follow the pretty birdie, okay? <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll show you where to go, um, and, and, and we gotta, we gotta continue on. And he's gonna grab some random vials, uh, just like, like half dozen of them. Uh, okay, actually, roll no, me full, one. Full dozen of them, and he will throw oh, them just... all in his backpack. Uh, uh we'll f- yeah. smash. We'll figure that out as you go, I guess. And drink them. Yeah, Need so em. I've got yeah. a dozen random vials. Okay, there you so go. you just have to roll a 1d100 every time. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's let's go back up. Go ahead and investigate the shelves, please. Okay. All right, I can do that. Plus zero. Nat 20. Uh, minus minus oh, hey. four. Okay, so dragon. <laughs> Being the only one to not have ingested anything, you manage to find the book that you can lift up that reveals a hidden compartment on the side of the uh, shelving unit. Ooh. And in right. there, you find a key. All right. I take the key. Does it look like I've seen anything that this would go to? I mean, there's locked doors. In this area? Well, oh, in I this guess area, you haven't though. tried the other doors, but maybe. Right. Okay. But not yeah. then in this room? No, there's no other doors in this room. No chest or anything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just the <laughs> rando potions. So. All right. Just turn around to, you turn around to see Weldon just slapping stones and <laughs> not lighting up. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, all, right. all right. Let's go back up. Oh, Try that last grand. one. All right. So we'll go okay, to the so. sixth one. Okay. So you go to the sixth open stairway heading down where there is a door at the bottom. Check for traps. No traps. Show, but show the, the door. Is Eleven. Okay. Locked. Good. And that's not enough to open it. All right. I, I showed the barge the door. I move out of the way. I'm dumb enough to justify this now. You yep. are. Oh my god. <laughs> 20. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let me look at a thing. Uh, Volin Smash! <laughs> I can't say Volin Smash. <laughs> you can't even say it, no. Um, I was only just above the you're actually able to speak threshold before. <laughs> I think that's like seven or something. Um... I'm going to. Why can't I look? Oh, there you go. I'm going to say you have just popped the door open. Awesome. Um, yeah. Okay. So the door swings open, and you can see within the room there is. Let's see. If you're standing outside looking in, you can see uh, a wardrobe-looking thing. Uh, there's a few. It looks like pretty colored boulders hanging out like there's a a blue one and there's a red one and then there's like a normal stone colored one but it's like it's got pretty marbling in it and anyway so there's three of those sitting around and then there's this nice looking bed and it's one of those fancy dancy beds with like the four posts and it's um currently the the drapes on the sides are all pulled back and you can see it's just a very well-made bed at this point I believe we are intruding on someone's house. I I I, I would think so. Mm. Yes. Um. <laughs> and a, 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 anybody in uh in the mood for a nap? Uh. <laughs> the, the, the big. I won't understand. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just charge into the bed. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. <laughs> You can decide how th- these actions run out. I'm just trying to say the silliest thing I can think of, Kim. <laughs> uh, well, okay. So, trying to figure out how this glyph works. You run across a glyph of warding, and oh you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Good at that. I've got plus six. That normally helps, right? 22. Oh, good. Nice. You take yeah. half damage. This is um, cold, by the way. 
So 25, you would take 12, 12. damage right. from the cold. It cold. I'm resistant to cold, so that's six. Nice. <laughs> um, sea, sea creatures are bad idea in underground caves. <laughs> let me make sure. Oh, that's a 20 foot radius. So all of you roll decks, actually. Dang. Okay. Oh, where's my character sheet? 16. 13. All right. And oh, I'm at D4. Bird, too. Fuck. Yeah. Owen is your saves. Bird out? Dragon. Yeah. Does not it's out. 15? Yep. It's a 15 save. A 15? Uh, oh, yeah. 14 was the hit. Yeah. Nice. 16 for Owen. 8 for the bird. <laughs> Takes 25 damage. Yeah. Birdie, go bye bye. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't helping you, anyways. <laughs> and now I'm um, visible. Reading yes, through the... you are visible again. Yeah, so both of you would have taken half damage from that. 12, 12 points. That brings me down All to right. 15. Okay. Brings me down to 25. What the feck was that? That was really cold. <laughs> okay, so you said that out loud and the thing went off. So from behind the wardrobe, you hear, Go away, you demon! <sighs> We are not demons. What are oh. you? What are you doing in my house? Uh, investigating. Making sure it's safe for the populace. I charge the wardrobe. Uh, testing jam. Um. <laughs> ah! Um. He's a pretty aggressive character before. If you take away his intelligence, um, he's just played aggressive. Um. See, roll I'm gonna to cast. Hit? Okay. The wardrobe? <laughs> What are um, you doing? Just like trying to push it or? Uh, uh full sword stabbing into it. <laughs> okay, you're stabbing the wardrobe. Yeah, Go for it. Wheel, so now you roll well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, your rapier gets stuck in the wardrobe because you stab it real good. Wardrobe takes 19 points of damage. <laughs> I don't have stats for a wardrobe. <laughs> you right, hack I... at it well enough that you get a chunk off the head. <laughs> Oh, uh, that that demon! He's been after me. I don't I don't know where he went. Which demon is that? That oh, he he gets in my mind and he just talks to me and I can't I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh, we could try to talk to the demon to get him to stop if you tell us where he's at. Ugh. He I don't know. He comes and he goes and. And at that moment, you hear or see, depending on where you're at in the room, one of the rocks stands up and turns into a humanoid creature. And we're going to stop there. Wow. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Side Eye Stronger Than Soldiers Part 2, Spikes, Pipes, and Jars. First and foremost, a big thanks to Javier Valdez, who you can find on Twitter, at CitySaurus. Uh, that is his piece of artwork, Beauty Beholders, its title, and that's the cover art for these episodes. So he graciously allowed us to use that artwork, so thank you very much. Uh, and be sure to follow him online and see all his other great works. I really had a lot of fun listening to this episode. I'm sure you guys did as well. Uh, I particularly love their interactions with the potions. Um, yeah, I just I wanted to point that out. <laughs> if you enjoy what we do, please leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, or whatever podcast app you use. It helps us out so, so much. And of course, any five-star review that we receive, we will read on the air. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at Beholders iPod or our website, BeholdersiCast.com. You can follow Ryan at DuffDuff the Third, Ben at Miro4D2, Kim at MetsGirl, and Sam at Samsalot007. Editing performed by Sam Canary. Music and effects editing by Benjamin Floyd. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. All music by Incopitech, Air Prelude. Dama May, Gagool, Moonlight Hall, Hidden Agenda, Scheming Weasel Faster, Curse of the Scarab, and Our Journey Begins by Kevin McLeod, Incompetech.com. License under Creative Commons by Attribution 3.0 License. CreativeCommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by forward slash 3.0 forward slash. All sound effects by Zapsblatt.com. Please check the show notes for further details. <laughs>